Hey guys, this is Alberto here. Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to blend materials in Blender. And I created this little uh, scene. I'm using Eclipse assets, obviously. And uh, all the textures and everything is like, basically from Quixel. So my point was to create some nice blending on the floor. Uh, to have at least like two to three materials or textures coming from Quixel and just, you know, blend it all together and have some nice looking, you know, result. So I'm going to start a new scene right now. All right. We're going to be using Bridge. All right. I already have downloaded a few materials, a few textures, and we're going to add a plane right here. I'm going to rotate it in the X axis. We're going to move it like that. And remember, apply your scale and rotation. So let's go to shading here. You can delete this guy over here. And we are going to be using, uh, let's go with area here. Go to the top. Something like this. And we're going to rotate it. Gonna render it out. There you go. And yeah, why not? Let me just so we have some nice, you know, nice shadow. Go to cycles, GPU. All right. So let's add a new material. I'm using the shading tab. All right. And we're gonna be pull this out. And I'm gonna separate this one in three times here. There you go. And I'm gonna add a mix shader. And I'm going to put one over here and one over here, all right? Because we're going to mix this quite a few times. These are the notes that, we, that we're going to be using, right? For, uh, well, a few more, but for now. Actually, hold on, let me, let me grab something real quick. I think I lost it over there. Mm. I'm going to grab this one here. I like um, how it looks. I'm going to open, right click, go to file. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to Blender, go under Shift T, open that, and go to, let's select the albedo, normal, roughness. That's all we need. All right. And if we go back, we're going to see this is how the material looks like. All right, what if, what if we want to add something else? And this already looks like pretty much, it has a lot of variations. So that's, I don't think that's going to work with what we want here. So let me find something that's actually a little bit <laughs> cleaner, I guess would be the proper. And let's go with concrete wall. Maybe I search for that. Is it working in the wall? And let's let's uh, select. Uh, yeah, this one's fine. All right, we got the one. This is the one. All right, so let me. Same thing. Albedo roughness connect. Oops, it didn't select the roughness for some reason. Roughness albedo normal. There you go. Okay, nice. And for the second one, I already have the one. So let me, this one here, Ctrl Shift T, same thing. And albedo roughness, normal, connect that. That's how it looks like, a little dirty. And this is how it looks, how this looks like, all right? So we're just gonna mix this two together. There you go, something like that. And we're gonna connect that. And now we have both mix. And let me see if you can see the difference. This is that one, this is both. That one, both. All right, so, but that's really simple. Like very like, there's no, what if you wanna use a mask 
for you know where you want to use uh, the material or not. All right, so let me find here real quick. Let me just open a. Let's create that mask. Let's go to uh, converter color ramp, and I'm gonna pull this one like that. All right, I need. I, I like space, you know. And we're gonna connect this one right over here, and let's use this little texture right here. All right, now color. There you go. Okay, I just pull a black and white texture. If I select it, let me see. There you go. That's the one. Now we're gonna do a little bit of trickery here, so let me just kind of show you what this looks like. You see how he's affecting it? I think it's let me, let me put it this way. I don't know if you can know because, ah, here we go. So this is what's happening here, right? Okay. So uh, this is, let me, let me blend another, um, another color ramp here. Okay. But this time we're going to use a, separate and control T and we don't need this and it's going to generate it connect to Z and now we have this too right and if I put it right over here this is what's happening here all right and let's add a color Mix color, and let's have those two. And now let's uh, go to multiply, and let's connect that one now. This one here. Let me see how that looks. <clears throat> All right, so it's basically a clamping. So we don't want uh, damage here. If you look at it, it's just it doesn't pat. It doesn't go above this right here. It's, but the line is just right there, right? You can also use all the noises to kind of uh, vary this kind of result. But for now, let's just keep it simple as that. And we're going to use another. Uh, let me see if I can. Hold on. Right, I like that. And let me see if I can basically. There you go, so it's not too intense. All right. All right, let's find let's uh, let's bring the other material here. We have it selected in the other screen. Ctrl T, Ctrl Shift T, and we go with something more dirtier. We're gonna use the same same stuff. So like that over here and just put it over there. There you go. And kind of making some space here. And we're going to use this one over here. Connect that over there. All right. And since we have this already here, we're just going to duplicate this. All right. And put it over here and let's uh, reduce so it just doesn't take the whole thing and I'm using the I'm, I'm basically using I don't let me hold on let me check let me do something here let me see if the orientation of this one yeah I don't like the orientation of this one so we're using the same UB space for this one, right so we're just gonna create another one it's gonna be um, blend one, and we're gonna copy that. All right. So let's uh, again wrap. Let's go to UBs here, and let's show the texture here. Texture select, and wait, why is it not? Oh, 
Okay, so remember, it's going to show the texture that you have selected. There you go. Like that one. And yeah, I don't know why it's not showing this one. Anyways, all right. So if I. Oh, oh my God. Hold on. I had to tell them where um, where to get that texture. So I was going to shift A. Let's go to input and go to attribute. And let's type the same name that you put over here. Put it over there and connect the vector. There you go. So now you're going to be able to actually see it. Let's go to UVs and render that out. If you render out, uh, you're going to be able to see it. Um, there you go. That's the one. And I can actually use this uh, different scale for this, but I think if you don't want a lot of tiling, you can just. Uh... And now if we go back to Counter Shift, click, you can see the texture right there. This is just, like I said, this is just an example. You can also use a separate mask for this. So yeah, I kind of this kind of looks kind of weird. The difference of color is just is throwing me off. I'm gonna use something else. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Dun, same process. And I'm not using any displacement or anything like that. This is very simple stuff. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. And like I said, you, you can, you know, you can get super creative and use the mask. You can also go to Photoshop and basically paint it out the mask or paint it out here, like I did with the other scene. So on this one, I have this mask to add some. Uh, like a wet kind of look or, you know, for the material. And yeah, that's basically what it is. Or in this one over here, uh, this one over here, I painted out another mask just to mix it out. You can see it right here. Ta-da, two materials for the, for the rust, the base metal, the rust, and if I isolate this real quick, there you go. So a little bit of rust, the metal base, and the texture with the uh, uh, with this thing, the you know the stripes. So and I took it to Photoshop and I basically just painted out and deleted some of the pieces to use the mask, and the mask. Uh, where's the mask? Anyways, it's uh, yeah, I think wait, it's this one. Yeah, this is one I'm using to use with this material with this color. So, if basically, if I change the color of this, it will change right there. So, I'm basically using just the alpha for that, for that kind of stuff, the opacity channel for that. So, yep, that's um. That's basically how you will do that. It looks kind of ugly when you have all this stuff turn off. <laughs> it's so ugly, holy crap. But when you actually turn on the render, you know, everything just blends in. Anytime now, there you go. So everything just blends in. And in this floor, let me show you real quick. This floor has uh, basically two materials plus the uh, water effect type of thing. So I did the same procedure for this stuff, blending using a color ramp as a balance and a bunch of other stuff, kind of to, you know, to fake stuff and to make it work. So it's like, if I just use this one, it'll be this material. If I use this one here, it'll be that material. And if I put everything together over here, uh, anytime, anytime now.
that's the blending right there so yeah that's uh basically the same the same thing for this one but like i said you can take your time you know and let's uh basically recap here you need to have your materials mix the materials and use some sort of a masking system to kind of blend it a little better and you can use this kind of stuff in order to want a little more directional kind of blending and yeah you can also create your own mask and just bring it as an image and you can uh, mix it and yeah like if you want it you want this texture only on the edges you can just paint out a mask only on the edges and that's it all right let me let me just show you that because i'm just talking shit here if i don't if i don't be like yeah this yeah i don't want to be doing that all right let's go to texture paint paint texture and let's delete that let's create a new one and it's going to call it base all right this is fine for what we're going to do here and for this one we're going to be creating a new uv set just let's test it out all right and on this one, I'm just gonna unwrap this, all right? And uh, okay, single image. And let's go with uh, I think uh, what was the one that I use? It was base. I think it was base. Yeah, let's go with base. All right, let's use base. It's fine. So this is gonna be very crappy here. Okay, just bear with me here. I'm just trying to make a point. There you go. Simple as that. If, not if, you had to save this process in order if you want to preserve it. Okay. If you want to preserve this mask, you kind of have to come over here. Save. See the masks right there? And let's go like, yeah, let's say base. Save that. All right. Let's go to shading. And remember that on this one, for this one, we're using this mask right here, right? Well, I'm going to go to that folder right now. Here it is. So if I connect this one here, you can see that the, the material, this material here, is now using only the mask that we created all the way over there right and if you get some hiccups and it's like yeah yeah because you probably have more than all the type of uvs you can like i said before okay did before just bring it bring your own uv go to input the attribute and test this is the one that we put over here and connect the vector right there i know he's using the same one you know, there's, it's not giving you any issues because we're using the same UV space basically for all of them. But in case you had something more specific, you can just isolate it with that. All right. And let's non-color data over here. And there you go. That is how you do it. So to recap again, what do you need? You need materials to blend, obviously, or textures to blend. Create your materials. It's, that's the material right there itself. And then use the mix shader, mix shader to, you know, to isolate where or to blend, to use the kind of blending system, like a mask, a texture, whatever, whatever it is that you're going to use. We use a single texture here to do that. Or you can use, you know, you get a little fancy, you can do a lot of cool stuff, blending, you know, stuff here and you get some cool stuff. So that's basically what it is. All right. So that's it. Hope you like it. Hope you learned something new from this. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and hit like, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.